Welcome back to Hillbilly Storytime, Pentest Fails. My name is Adam Compton, and today we're just gonna be talking a little bit about managing customer expectations. We've talked about this a little bit in the past on some of the other scenarios and what have you, but it keeps reoccurring, so I think I want to mention it again out there, just because there's different scenarios that can this can play into. The most obvious is, is that the customer comes in and says, we want a pen test. And then when you start to describe what a pen test is, they're like, oh, no, 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 no. We just want this over here. What they really say they want is a vulnerability assessment, not a pen test or a validated vulnerability assessment, something like that. Other kind of things is the opposite of that, where they come in and say, well, according to this, we need to have a vulnerability assessment that finds all this stuff and you validate it. We're like, well, I know what you're saying you want, but what you're describing is more of a pen test. And then you start working through that and get them on board. Uh, hopefully a lot of this is being taken care of during the sales process and not during the uh, pen testing portion of it. But unfortunately, sometimes it does fall through. Other times, the customer is expecting something out of the engagement that wasn't called out for in the uh, rules of engagement, in the scoping document, in the contract. So. There's been cases where a customer has said, look, we want you to test this network. It happens to be our payment card network, uh, but we're just wanting a pen test done. This isn't part of the PCI engagement. We just want a pen test done of it. Well, okay. But then once it's all said and done, you do the pen test, you hand them the report, and then they go around and hand that off to some QSA out there that says, well, here's our pen test of our network. Uh, this should do. And then the QSA comes back and says, well, they didn't test this or this. They didn't test this part. They didn't test all this. Well, it's because it wasn't a pen test for a PCI engagement. Also, many times, well, if it is a pen test for a PCI engagement, the pen testers know that, well, we need to test every system in the payment card industry or in the payment card infrastructure, all of the um, systems that tie to it. There are certain rules and regulations in there. And we enforce that and we tell the customer that. But if the customer is like, no, 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 this is just a pen test, it's not for PCI, then we rely on the customer to give us the target scope. Granted, we usually try to push for a larger scope, but if the customer is resistant to that and just says, no, no, we just want you to test these three systems over here in this one subnet, like, fine, we will test that and report on that. But then when the customer turns around and tries to use that report for something it wasn't intended to, like, use it as a PCI pen test, there's obviously going to be holes in there. So better, help, better setting the expectations for both the customer and the uh, pen tester there can solve so many of those problems. Um, I've also been on engagements where you go into it and you're like, okay, I'm ready to do this engagement. And the customer's like, oh yeah, so um, before you do anything, you have to get approval. Okay. And they're like, um, so, what are you going to be doing first? Well, we're going to kick off the in map that scans. Or, whoa, 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 which systems are you going to target? We need to get those authorized. Uh, then it gets down to the point, in this one particular example that I'm uh, sort of referring to, uh, we had to do a pen test of this uh, network that customer said it's a pen test. So, we get ready to kick off the pen test. Turns out that before we touch anything on that network, we had to get their permission. And sometimes they would say no. In examples of, hey, we found these five FTP servers out there. We want to check to see if they have anonymous FTP on them. And then they would come back and say, well, fine. You can only test it on that one FTP server, not the other four. So yeah, that kind of comes back on the pen test going, well, we're not really doing a pen test here where our hands are tied by that customer. The customer had certain expectations of what they were wanting to get out of this that wasn't conveyed to the pen tester up front. Had it been, we could have worked around this and had better understanding going into it. Well, in cases like that, you do what you can. You push it back up to the management. You push it back up to sales, to project management, stuff like that, and say, look, this is what's going on. How do we want to handle this? And you deal with it from there. Worst case, you do the engagement, and then in the report, you specify, say, here's the rules and regulations of what we had to work within. Here's any... Um, restrictions that we had placed on us during this engagement and you call that out you make sure that report fully represents what was the restrictions and what was the authorizations allowed for that engagement 
but that kind of diverts off from the topic of setting expectations for both yourself and for the uh, customer. And by having proper communication throughout the full process, explaining everything you're doing within reason, uh, explaining everything that the pen test is going to do up front so that they have an understanding like, oh, so you're going to be testing this, you're going to be running these kind of tools, you're going to be doing X, Y, Z. Great. And they're going to buy into it more often than not. So just better communication is going to help out across the board and it's just going to help out solving so many issues that come up down the road. This was just another little quick one here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button below. If you want to be updated to new ones as they come out, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you and have an awesome day.